Alabama got it in Oxford. Texas A&M got it in Starkville. They got to know Mississippi last week. They likely weren't smiling as a result of the Southern hospitality. Aggies entered Starkville as the number six team in the country. Their loss dropped them to number 12. And now the nation's most efficient offense is 98 miles away from where they were a week ago today. Back in Mississippi to take on an Ole Miss team that's 5-0 for the first time since 1962. An Ole Miss team with the nation's most efficient defense. Huh, number one versus number one, if you will. Kevin Sumlin with Heather Cox here on Sports Center this morning. So here's the deal with DeMarco Murray. You know, give him a hole and he's gonna run right. through it. You can't do one without the other. It's like holding hands. You need two of them to do it. So who who are you really giving the credit to here? Murray? Or the offensive line of the Cowboys. Well, I'm going to go a little bit more. Conversation at our pod this morning about the movie Gone Girl. The book, the movie, the ending, whatever your position in the debate. Movies are a great place to get away. You know, occupy your mind for a few hours, forget about your own life. Only it's time best spent when you're not required to be spending that time somewhere else. Gino Smith learned that lesson last week at the movies instead of in a team meeting. Cross-country trip, time change, yeah, we know. What we also know is that times haven't changed for Rex Ryan and quarterbacks. That movie, there's no debate about the ending. Look at this. Since he became head coach back in 2009, his team's quarterback play, it ranks dead last in the league. See them all? Last, last, last. Completion percentage, passing yards, touchdown to inter exception differential it's not good total QBR of 21.9 that is an NFL low this season Justina Anderson she joins us live this morning from MetLife Stadium all right the Jets are mired in this four game losing streak Geno Smith was fined after uh, language that he used towards fans and then of course he missed that team meeting so what are his teammates saying about Big day to blow out candles. Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Brett Favre both celebrating birthdays today. So what do you get for the guys that have everything? And they probably have enough jeans, thanks to Wrangler. Yeah, it's weird. Same birthday, both Wrangler guys. This whole little birthday thing is weird. Consider this, Sarah. These are superstars that share the same birthday. You've got these two. January 17th, Dwayne Wade's birthday and your pick with some notable games this weekend. And of course, we'll start with DeMarco Murray's Cowboys. Four and one Dallas, three and one Seattle. Take your pick, Caddy. I'm still going with the world. All right, looking at all of this weekend's games. Uh, give me one sleeper team this weekend. All right, sleeper. All right, the Steelers are going in to play the Browns. And I'd say the Browns have a great chance to pull off that up to get this, get this win and prove me right for my sleeper pick. You get influenced by Crawford over there on this? He team? is a friend of mine, though. He is, <laughs> maybe. More from Teddy Bruschi on <laughs> NFL Live for Eastern on ESPN. See you, bud.